George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK. Hi guys, you're probably aware that bread is made in almost every country across the world. But what's fascinating is that every country has managed to do something exciting and original with the basic ingredients. So join me on a quick whiz around the international grain chain. First stop, France. The baguette is now made all over the world, so you don't have to go to France to see one. It's very long and thin, and is great to have for crusty sandwiches, or even on its own with some oil and vinegar. Yum! Next stop, Poland! Poland is where the world famous bagel is said to have come from. Bagels are shiny round bread with a hole in the middle. Pretty funny looking, but very tasty. They use high gluten flour to create a lovely sticky texture. But with so many different bagel recipes, it's hard to pick a favourite. Onion or raisin? Poppy seed or plain? Next stop, Holland. Some of you may not have heard of this one. We're in the Netherlands for some tiger bread. <laughs> not that sort of tiger, but it gives you a clue to why it got its name. You can tell a tiger bread by its mottled crust that looks a bit like tiger's stripes. Although some people think it's more like a giraffe, the secret to the pattern is that tiger bread has rice paste painted on its top, which cracks during the baking. This gives it the wild spots and stripes. <laughs> Time for a quick escape. Italy is next on the list. Here you'll find ciabatta and focaccia, two fantastic breads that go with so many things. Focaccia is a flat oven-baked bread, which is normally infused with herbs and vegetables. Bellissimo. Ciabatta bread is also quite flat, but has an airy dough that makes it popular as sandwich bread. I like to toast mine and fill it with salami and cheese, or sometimes ham, or chicken, or, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Where's next? Ah, South Asia. Here they make a really tasty flatbread called chapati. They use whole wheat flour, which is cooked on a flat pan. It's usually eaten as part of a tasty meal, like a curry. The cool part is that you use the chapati to pick up the hot food, and also adds a great tasting texture. A quick leap over to northern India and Pakistan, and we discover the naan bread. This oven baked fat bread is very versatile. You can have it with hot food or with meat piled on top of it. And as with all bread, it's pretty tasty on its own too. The bread is jack of all trades. Ah, we're back home, which is my cue to get back in the kitchen. Representing Britain, I've made a great farmhouse loaf today. This is a traditional bread baked in a special tin cut lengthwise along the top and dusted with flour. My mum always makes this bread during the summer for our picnics. Have it with some salad and you've got a great healthy meal. All that travelling's made me hungry, so I think I'll have a slice now, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK.